Okay, this is a quick response video to one of the questions regarding positional accuracy of the tool changer. I basically took a speed test macro and replaced all the code with T1, T0 tool changes. I'm going to cycle this five times and uh, see the results at the end. So I'm not pushing any records here. This was just set to 5,000 millimeters per second squared acceleration and 700 millimeters per second velocity. I think that looks pretty good. Let me zoom out a little and do the same thing one more time just to see how this works. So the numbers are my Y error. Uh, sorry, my X error is 0.001250 and my Y error is 0 0.000625. So negligible, I guess. I don't know exactly what that means, but let's uh, run this one more time. And the numbers still look the same x.001250 and y is uh, 0 0.000625 so I'd say that's pretty good so I posted this uh, cube already but that's my YouTube test cube dual color uh, part I put double wall inside just so that the color is easy to anchor. Uh, so it's uh, pink and blue. Just whatever I had in the printer at the time, printing things for my daughter. Sorry for the colors. You know, it's not an official YouTube. And then this is the CXC calibration cube. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the alignment. A little ringing I gotta deal with. Um, but uh, overall, uh, if you run your nail across the color changes, it feels like it was done on a single nozzle printer with an AMS or something like that. So yeah, I'm extremely happy with the alignment. And uh, again, this is a uh, tool alignment is done with the CXC tool, uh, uh, optical alignment tool by uh, Amber Prototypes, I believe their, their name is. Um, but anyways, link is in the description if you want to take a look at the tool. I, I've also been able to successfully calibrate my offsets with uh, the USB microscope. So it's another good option. But yeah, I'm very happy with, with how this is coming out.